Hello from the holy city of Tzfat, Israel. You know, it says in the book of Daniel, before Mashiach comes, is of Yislavnu, things will become clear who is good and who is evil. And Israel always is the good side. Nobody, no nation in history has done more goodness and kindness and charity than the Jewish people. It's very easy for anybody to claim, I'm right because you're an aggressor and I'm a victim. Everybody particularly the people that are evil, claim that, like Hitler, because it enables them to have an excuse to be evil. But you have to use objective standards. And when you use objective standards, goodness and kindness, charity and benevolence, justice and morality, those are the standards. So when you have a group of people like Black Lives Matter that claim to be the great ones and everybody else deserves to give them the money so they can riot, but meanwhile, what are they doing? Are they helping anyone? No. They're, they're destroying cities, their own cities. So when you look at it objectively, look at it from what are the people doing, not what are they saying, because it's easy to, you know, bullshit and just talk lies. But what are they actually doing? And then you look at what Hamas, what is it doing? Never mind what it's saying. What is it doing? The most sick, disgusting, savage, evil... And then if somebody then is calling for a ceasefire, what they're really doing is they're saying, I want them to be able to do more of it. So what we're seeing clearly now is the absolute clarity of who is good. And when we see that, obviously the Jewish people, we see the Christian right, um, are good. And they stand for good, at least those that support Israel. And anybody, whether you religious or not religious, believer or not, but if you have compassion in your heart, then you're good. And if you are, quote-unquote, a supporter of these kind of acts, then that means you are evil. And um, it can also mean, to be fair, that a person has been brainwashed. In other words, that an uh, average German could have been a decent human being, and yet he bought into Hitler's lie, as Hitler said, lucky for leaders that people don't think, and so therefore he actually believes that the bad people are the Jews, and the ones that are murdering them are the good people. So it's a, it's a height of stupidity, but it is also normal for people that have not really thought things through, and they don't make their own decisions to come up with a, a mistaken ideology. And unfortunately, we've had generations now of Arabs that are terrorists, as we see, as well as Russia that has nothing better to do with its life than to mess up other people's society through disinformation. And they've just promoted this whole idea that there's even such a thing as a Palestinian. You know, the Arabs have been killing Jews for thousands of years. And in fact, when I spoke to some Muslims, they're like, well, what are you surprised of? Even Mohammed, their leader, he made a pact with Jews and then he killed them and he raped the women and he took them as sex slaves. I mean, you're talking about that's their leader. So this has been going on for thousands of years. We know when Israel was established, nobody ever said that there's such a thing as a Palestinian. It never existed. And so suddenly, after losing wars that they wanted to annihilate all the Jewish people, suddenly they came up and it was from Russia, the spy that trained Arafat, the head of the PLO, which insanely Israel has ever made a pact with the Arabs, giving them anything, you know, when you lose a war, you lose. You don't give the enemy more, because if you do, that says, okay, well, I can kill you, and then I can give more. And so what's really happening here is that Russia came up with this great plot. But of course, as all the things that Russia does, it always ends in failure. And the reason it ends in failure is because evil always gets exposed. It doesn't work, because in the end of the day, only life can progress, death ends. And so it taught Arafat this concept, let's call yourself a Palestinian, you just want a state, and then there's this two-state delusion. They never wanted a two states, they just wanted to kill Jews, that's what they've been doing, that's what they're doing. And um, it's, a, it's a time when a person has to actually think to themselves, am I part of the good people, the Jews, goodness, kindness, love, morality, or am I part of evil? The people that stand for murder because it's never been clearer, it's never been simpler. And now's the time, particularly if you saw this, to know that last but not least, the intellectual 
the 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 false intelligence I taught in university. Never met stupider people, most of them, not all of them. Never met dumber people living in this, if you want to call it, ivory tower, this lava land of their own ideas. And again, all of it boils down to ego, because people they get the ego within them, then they start to think they're smart, and they become a cult. And all of society, all of history shows this, that good people, oh, sorry, bad times make strong people, strong people make good times, good times make weak people, weak people make bad times. But more succinctly, what's really going on is that when things are good, then the sexual instinct uh, starts to take over, and that's why we see they're completely into perverted sex, because this is who they are. They're not... They don't represent anything deep, anything wise. They're simply, uh, in a way, morons following some kind of uh, like cultish behavior, which amazingly has, has, not amazingly, kind of predictably has turned anti-life and anti. So if you want to be part of the good side, it literally boils down to just being normal, um, seeking the truth, and not gaining, not, not, not letting any of these cultish uh, groups become your reality.